Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can customize the toolbars that appear within Adobe Acrobat to add and remove buttons for the features and functions within the program. You can see the button sets, also called button groups, that appear by default in the Quick Tools toolbar and the Common Tools toolbar shown on screen. Each set is divided by a dividing line so that you can more easily separate them. They have been labeled for your convenience within the manual so that you can see which sets appear by default. This makes customizing the toolbars and noticing when customizations have been made to Adobe Acrobat 11 easier. Let's look at the default toolbar button sets. So, in the Quick Tools toolbar, at the left end you have the Create button. That's then followed by the Buttons within the File Buttons button set, followed by the Buttons within the Quick Tools button set. In the Common Tools toolbar at the left end you have the Page Navigation Command buttons, followed by the Select and Zoom buttons, and then finally the page display buttons. There are two ways that you can add and remove buttons from the toolbars in Adobe Acrobat 11. One way is to right click either toolbar anywhere except the Quick Tools buttons area to view a pop-up menu of commands that you can use to modify the toolbars. Alternately, you can select View, roll down to Show and Hide, and then choose Toolbar Items from the menu bar to see the same menu of commands shown as a side menu of choices. Within this menu, you can see the names of the various button sets shown at the top of the menu. You can roll your mouse pointer over any button set name shown to see the specific buttons that are available within that button set. Buttons that appear with a check mark next to their names are currently being shown in one of the toolbars. Buttons without a check mark are not shown in the toolbars. You can click the name of a button in the side menu of choices for each button set listed to toggle the check mark and thus the button's visibility within the toolbars on or off. Now note that the buttons will appear within their designated section of their respective toolbar. Buttons added from the Rotate View or Edit button sets or the Touch Mode button will appear at the right end of the Common Tools toolbar. You cannot change the placement or positioning of these buttons within their respective toolbars. Also note that at the bottom of each side menu for each button set shown there is a general show all button set name tools command. If you select that command in the side menu of choices you will add all of the buttons within the selected button set to their respective toolbar. For example, to add all of the buttons within the Edit button set to the Common Tools toolbar, you would roll over the Edit command and then choose the Show All Edit Tools command. You can reset a button set to its default appearance after making modifications to it by choosing the Reset Button Set Name Tools command from the side menu of choices that appears when you roll over the respective button set in the menu. For example, to remove all of the buttons in the Edit Button Set as none appear by default, you would select Edit and then choose the Reset Edit Tools command from the menu to reset those tools to their default appearance. To reset all toolbars back to their default states, you can select the Reset Toolbars command within the menu that appears when you right-click a toolbar or select View, then Show Hide, then Toolbar Items from the menu bar. You can also hide and show all of the toolbars within Acrobat 11 if you prefer. To do this, select View, 
roll down to show and hide, roll over the toolbar items command, and then choose the hide toolbars command in the side menu that appears. To display them again, select view, roll down to show and hide, roll down to toolbar items, and then choose the show toolbars command from the side menu that appears. Now this is simply a toggle command that will toggle the display of the toolbars on and off. You can also use the keyboard shortcut of F8 on your keyboard to toggle the display of the toolbars on and off. This can be handy to note in case you accidentally press the F8 key on your keyboard. You can also hide the display of the menu bar by selecting view from the menu bar, rolling down to show and hide, then choosing menu bar. Now to display it again you will need to press the F9 key on your keyboard. This keyboard shortcut will toggle the display of the menu bar both on and off. It's also useful to remember in case you accidentally press the F9 key on your keyboard while working in Adobe Acrobat. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.